The world of programming is really changing all the time. New languages are constantly being hyped, new frameworks are being released, old frameworks are being pushed out, and the target platforms for which software is written are also constantly changing. And Java is a programming language that hasn't really been hyped lately. Some people rightly ask, is Java actually dead? And is it still worth learning Java as a programming beginner? Hello and welcome to the J Sparrow Star programming channel. My name is Ben and I would like to answer these questions in today's video. Before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel because we will be bringing a lot of content over the next few weeks and then you will regularly receive programming related content in your subscription box and that is a really useful and nice thing to stay motivated as far as programming goes. So let's start now. Let's ask ourselves the question, is Java dead? First of all, there is a very simple answer to this question. No, Java is not dead. Java is still very popular, especially in the business environment. In fact, it is one of the most sought after languages in the industry. That means there are really a lot of jobs for Java. Also on Google Trends, we see that Java is pretty much on par with JavaScript in terms of popularity in Google search engine. And development surveys regularly show that Java is still one of the most popular programming language. We see that for example in the 2022 Stack Overflow Developer Survey and also in the 2021 JetBrains Developer Survey. And also on GitHub, Java is one of the most used languages. So what do we learn from this? Python may have pushed Java from the top, but that doesn't mean that Java is a dead language or that it affects Java in general. The language is still used very frequently, mainly because it is completely object-oriented and is also absolutely form-independent. Java is used for the development of mobile apps, small server web applications, for typical business software, for embedded systems and also often for the Internet of Things area. Java also has a very strong community since this language has established itself very well especially in the business sector where there are of course many Java veterans who can help you if you have problems. There are also tutorials and many Eclipse IDE applications that can help you reduce code smell, learn Java best practices right from the start and also do code refactoring in general. As a Java Eclipse add-on, we want to introduce you to our design tool, which is Captain J Sparrow, and who can help you especially when it comes to code refactoring in Java. With J Sparrow, you can find and fix bugs, remove dead code or code smell, and also learn Java best practices right from the start. It is suitable for beginners and professionals, and you can refactor your code with a click of a button. It is supporting all Eclipse IDE versions, and the best part is that you can use it for free for an unlimited period of time. If that sounds interesting to you, then just click the link in the video description and you can see for yourself how exactly JSparrow is working. But I think that you can see that Java really is still a very popular language. You can do a lot with it and that's why I think it's still worth learning. It's a language that's in demand in the industry, it's a language that you can also start with as a hobbyist and I don't think there is anything wrong with starting with this language. In that sense, that's it with the video. As I said, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more videos. We upload regularly and of course I would also be very happy about the thumbs up under this video. For the rest, I wish you a pleasant day and have fun programming. Goodbye!